Hello students, welcome to this lesson. In today's class I will be talking to you about the present participle tense. As you see I wrote a note here on the board, it says from the form the present participle of both regular and irregular verbs through the addition of letters of the letters ing to the end of the verb in the present tense. And the verb in present participle must pursue an auxiliary verb, most commonly B form verbs, which are is, are, and am. All right, so if you want to have a present participle verb, you will simply add an ing at the end. Washing, all right? And before this verb, this present participle verb, you will have to have an auxiliary verb or one of the two B forms of the verb is, are, or am, all right? Michael is washing his car, present participle. You could also see this as the present progressive because they are telling you that that action is taking place now. He is washing his car, that he was doing it and he is still doing it now, okay? But we are going to focus on the present participle form of the verbs, washing, all right? Some people think these are gerunds, but they only work as gerunds when they are working in a part of speech or in a sentence as a noun. For example, marketing. Marketing is an interesting profession. Marketing. Then it would be a gerund. But this is not. This is a past participle verb, all right? And it makes a present progressive sentence or statement. The next one says, we are having a drink. Having is the present participle verb. As you can see, we, add, we added the ing to the verb have. All right, and before this verb here, we have, <laughs> wrong marker, sorry. <laughs> we have are, which is a form of the verb be, right? But it, it must be in the present tense. You cannot say Michael was, okay? Well, you could, but then you would be talking in the past progressive tense. But we are not going into that just now. We are going to focus on this here. This is the pe present participle of a verb. Having, washing, cleaning, okay? And the next one says, Angela is cooking dinner. We have the auxiliary verb, the form of verb B. We have the verb cook plus ing. The next one, the children are brushing their teeth. We have are, the present tense of the verb B. We have the verb brush plus ing, which creates the present participle. All right, next I will give you some more practice examples and sentences so that you can keep practicing, practicing along with me. <laughs> now you are going to help me change these verbs into the present participle tense. Remember that we must add ing to the end or yeah, to the end of the verb in present tense and before this verb, we must add a B form verb. All right, the first one says, they play baseball. That is in the present tense. So we are just going to add I, N, G, and R. They are playing baseball. All right, so now we have the present participle. The next one says, we went to the park. We went to the park. This is in the past tense, so we are going to change the whole verb, and we are going to use the present tense 
plus ing and the corresponding form of the verb be. We are going to the park, right? The next one says, they brush their teeth. Okay, so this is the present tense. We are going to simply add ing and the corresponding form of the verb be. They are brushing their teeth. And the last one says, they sang beautifully. We have sing in past tense, so we are just going to erase the whole thing, and we are going to say, you could also use a past tense of the verb be. They were singing. Beautifully. All right, so this is how you use the present participle. Since we are using the present participle, that is why I have not given you examples with were. That is right, we need are. They are singing beautifully. All right. Next, I will leave you homework because you need to practice a lot to improve your English. For homework, write four sentences using the present participle tense. Do not forget the rules or the notes I wrote for you here on the board. And if you need to, please go ahead and write them. And well, remember to leave your homework in the comment section below this video, along with any comment, suggestion, or question that you may have. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right. I will be talking to you about the past participle of verbs. The past participle needs...